Hi guys, I'm making this recording from my hotel room in Yerushalayim. This week is Parshish Mishpatim. It's also Parshat Shkalim. And I want to thank two really dear friends of mine, Rabbi Moshe Nis and Jeff Gelfan, for helping me with pronouncing the Pesukim correctly. And any mistake that I make is not theirs, but mine. Please take a look at chapter 22, verse 21 and 22. The Torah tells us there's a prohibition of mistreating a widow and an orphan. And then it goes on to say in Pasuk Chavbet, which is 22, it's funny, it's also chapter 22, verse 22, if you will surely afflict them or mistreat them, and they will cry unto me, Shamoa Eshma Tsaako So. I will surely hear their cries. Look at verse 22 in your own Chumash, and you will see that the words are doubled. Ane ta ane. Tsaok itzak. Shamoa Eshma. That's for emphasis. To teach us the littlest inconvenience that someone who is vulnerable, who is suffering, will experience, you can't compare that pain. God will hold not just the individuals who create that, but the community leaders and the community. If somehow an orphan, a widow, those that are most vulnerable are mistreated, Hashem will hold us accountable. I want to bring your attention to a mechilta, and it's a tragic story of Rabbi Shmuel and Rabbi Shimon, who are about to be tragically murdered, horribly tortured to death by the Romans. And Rabbi Shimon turns to his colleague, Rabbi Shmuel, and he says, I have reflected and thought about all my past deeds, and I can't understand why such a harsh decree has been placed upon me. And Rabbi Shmuel says, tell me, you as a community leader, have those who have come to you for assistance and help, did you make them wait even a short moment? Perhaps you were finishing a cup, maybe a cup of coffee, a cup of wine, a cup of water. Maybe you were busy putting on your shoes. Maybe you made them wait because you were getting dressed. And Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Shmuel then says to Rabbi Shimon, Ane ta ane. If you shall surely afflict them, that means a little or a lot doesn't make a difference. The little bit, the little tiniest bit of pain that you cause someone and they experience that, Hashem will hold us accountable. And Rabbi Shimon turns to Rabbi Shmuel and he says, You have comforted me. This week is Pasha Shkolem. We give a half a shekel. Why? We gave a half a shekel to support and take care of the holy Mikdash, the holy temple and all its needs. Why half not a whole? To teach us that we are part of a larger community. And as individuals, we are not whole. Only when we are concerned and that we understand that we are part of a whole community, that's when we uh, can serve God. I want you to think about the Mechilta for a moment. Rabbi Shmuel pointed out, you're going to drink before someone else can drink. You're worried about your shoes before someone else maybe doesn't have shoes. Maybe you're getting dressed and you have clothing and someone else doesn't have clothing. When you don't think about the other, you're not whole. And so it's our responsibility to make sure that those who are in need, those who are most vulnerable, those who do not have a protector, it is the responsibility of our community to address those needs. And only then, and only then, do we become whole. If you like what you hear, please pass it on. Shabbat Shalom.